if we were buying it, we would pay for it. You know how I like to put them straight on me wrist. Can be closer to 14 grand. It's a tri compact. £4,199. Pre Daytona, pre Cosmograph. But we'll take it back whenever you'd like take it in for a part XL. An Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean. Don't skip the video and go straight to the deal zone. I don't see what you think. And a lot of people that go from Brighton thinks this is too small, but once you start it's wearing this, it's actually not. And then this is the 41, but this is going to sit very similar to that anyway. Yeah, let's just try that on because yeah. it's a little it's a little cleaner looking in it. And I don't know, so it's, it's just a classic. So the main difference you can obviously tell to the, just the naked eyes, yeah, the, yeah. the polished center links of the GMT, this is satin brushed. Yeah. And then the bezel, yeah. slightly different. Obviously, you've got the full GMT functions yeah, on the bezel with this. Yeah. But other than that, they're very similar. Price points, you're looking around 2K ballpark for one of these. Difference to this. Yeah. Because obviously this is a newer watch, this is a slightly older piece. Yeah, it feels nice, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot so different to the um, and there's no play in that bezel at all, is these are actually going. Yeah, it's solid. This is a brand new watch, I think this is 2022 yeah. or 2023. Well, there is a day just, just compare, I know you mentioned a day just yeah. as well, so this is a day just 41. That's nice with the blue face. It is yeah, nice. So we have literally every place, dial yeah. you could think of, mint green, rose. Do you know what one I've always wanted? The Wimbledon. But in, in rose gold. Yeah, we have. That's, that's the one I've always promised myself to be fair. You could always start off with something like this, and we'll always take part exchange, yeah, and then you can just trade it away. So just one way with that one. Ah, okay. So that's, that is a 2020, I want to say, 2020 box and papers. That's just one I've always new promised myself. myself I've got know. rose and seal as well. Rose and seal works well. It's, it's nice, nice isn't it? It's yeah. just sick on, on the two valise. It's just nice, well, isn't, isn't it? it? All the color combination with the green on the Roman and then the rhodium dial. It is. It's nice. Isn't looks it looks really good. That's mm -hmm. the one. What about what? What's that going at 13, 14? Yeah, it's got to be. It's up for that, but we can do something on it. Let me check. It's got to be. See the retail price on something like that's quite a lot more than the steel. Yeah. yeah. So the steel GMT when it was in production would have been around a seven to eight k. Yeah. When it would have went from around six when they originally first came out. Around the same age as this, it would have been about six and a half k for that age. And then obviously retail price in a rose and seal Wimbledon, it's it's gonna be twelve like twelve, 12 on what's minimum, yeah. 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 Yeah, we're asking fourteen five, it can be closer to fourteen grand. And 13. then this one would be we can do ten four fifty on this one. And then say I was to get that, I can just trade swap, it in whenever you like in next whatever, week, two weeks, two and years. And I'm not really gonna lose that. I much can't see it as long with, as it's not Yeah, right. exactly. I think if you're gonna keep it minimum six months, you're probably gonna see somewhat of a return or at least hold its good value. But at the end of the day it could go up, it could go down. Yeah, of course. But we'll take it back whenever you'd like to trick, take it in for a part X or anything like that, it's no problem back. I think I could probably go with that one. Yeah. At that, at that, at that price there. 10 for 50, so yeah, 2012. Then, Let me grab the box and papers, I'll show you that as well. Then, yeah. How would you like to pay? Thousand and five 36mm Explorer 114270 and it is in very good condition so it has the the booklets two swing tags the box the outer box the original papers and it's been serviced in 2011 it has the calendar and the service booklet as well so if we were buying it, we would pay £4,000. If you wanted us to sell a watch on your behalf, I could look to return £4,500. That's based on me looking at the watch advertised for retail on Chrono for between five and five and a half thousand in Europe, same years, and with a 6% fee. So Chrono has a 6% fee. The figures are inflated somewhat. What I would say is, in the last three months, I've probably sold five or six new ones of these and I've sold two with it with those figures and they've sold on consignment within a couple of weeks. We'll leave it on consignment, I think. It, it makes a lot more sense. I'll have a look on your site. You do, I don't think you have a 36 minute explorer. We so don't. Not, I just bought one yesterday in Mayfair and it was a 2022. So completely different watch, completely different prospect and they have a following, they're a nice watch and they're, compared to a lot of models, they're well priced. It's a smart watch. It lets people buy a Rolex, isn't it? Quite a nice Yeah, it Rolex. is. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice awesome. first Rolex, but they have quite a following for, especially the older ones in this condition. Do you have a driving license with you, please? So Harry, we talk about a lot of really expensive watches. 
here at Watch Trader and Code. We have a not so expensive watch that's come in for service and I've been speaking to a customer ours from Glasgow. So Darren, you know exactly who you are. This is a 90s Breitling Super Ocean Colt on a leather strap that has been loved and I believe that he's given it to his son. Now we've had a few little in-house jokes about this watch. The crux of it is John's quoted him less than it was to fix it, but we've stood on for the service price. It's on its way back to Glasgow. And I think Darren's a wily old fox, a bit like me, because he said, keep the price down because my son's paying for it out of his pocket money. So it is getting paid for slightly less than the cost of the job, John, but you know, we like, look after our customers. We yeah. look after our customers here. So there you go. Harry's going to zoom in because started off black. It might be a little bright one, but it's got a fantastic patina on the dial. It's a little bit like the vintage Daytona. It's gone from black to grey as we turn round into check. another wrist check. A very, very rare beast. This is a mm, 40s, early 50s. I've just got it from a customer and you know how I like to put them straight on my wrist. It's not working, so it doesn't matter how long, I, how often I wear it or how many times I press the buttons, it isn't working, but it's going to go into the workshop. It's a tri compax Rolex. So pre-Daytona, pre-Cosmograph, it's nearly as old as me. In fact, it's a little bit older than me. So again, watch this space for this one. So we have a 2008 Amiga Seamaster 007 in very good condition. No marks on the bezel. Watch has been worn, but with a polish. That'll be as good as new. It's some of the matter with the the wine of the day. Well, it wasn't was mine. It was mine that when I bought it. And obviously, when my son come away then and says to well, me, you, you might as well wear it now. Mm -hmm. So it's some of the matter with the, the wine and the date. Whether he's uh, took it out too far and it's come off, or I think you, you can feel it when you you wind in the date. It's like it's grinding type of thing. I don't know whether it needs to just. So the date is not moving on when I'm winding it. Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying, so... My child, I need to have somebody to have a look at that, but let me then just do a little bit of research. So, are you potentially looking to sell it? Yeah, if I'm all right with the price. So, did you have a figure in mind how much you are looking for, or how much you think it's worth? A lot of time since it's bought the minute, right there. This is a 2008. I'm looking at a 2012 on Chrono in the UK, uh, advertised for £4,199. So that is a little bit newer. There's a 6% fee that will need to come off that. It's 14 for sale out of 2008, the same as this one. And there's one or two for all of the, the years after that. This is obviously based on to see what it needs, what work it needs first, so I would have to get it checked. But I think if we were buying it, we would pay 2,500. I think if you wanted us to sell it on your behalf, you would get a minimum of 3,000. What I also find is anything with James Bond on tends to sell quickly. Right. The other thing is as well, apart from the date, it's I can't feel it grinding. Is it usually a big thing with the date? Or it's it difficult to say, it? but if it was like grinding and everything seemed to be not working, it would probably be a lot more expensive. Like for me, it's still winding and everything's working apart from the date. That's based on me getting it checked and it not needing a lot. So I'll pop that one there. Just have a look at this one now. So it is an Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean, but it's different to usual because it's titanium as far as I can see. It is, yeah. You only made so, so many of them. It's a very big watch. Uh, we've bought and sold a few of them in the, maybe in the last six months. Again, I'm looking at them advertised anywhere from 4,000, so I think it's probably a very similar sort of figure. 2,500 for us to buy and 3,000 to return on consignment as a minimum. I think that that one... Obviously, I don't know what it needs, so I'll need to check first. We'll sell a lot quicker than that one. That Obviously, that's speculation. There might be somebody looking for that watch because it is a bit unusual. But I think it's realistic to expect a return of uh, 3000 for them both each within 30 days. Did you want me to sell them on your behalf? Uh, no, not at the moment. I mean, that's a typical Amiga, isn't it, really, in terms of the fact that usually they don't tend to, to lose value, don't they? Yeah, that, yeah. that's it. Mm. I think obviously because this one's 10 year old and that one's sort of 15 year old, if you look at what they cost, 
1950 as an investment over 15 years you're probably going to get significantly more than they cost obviously they're a lot different now typically with a brand new one like you said yeah they're worth less than what they would cost brand new in the shop yeah. we get discount on brand new amiga models as well for new models but these are completely different like i say mm -hmm. they're 10 and 10 and 15 years right. old so you're looking at six thousand of the two of them yeah yes and obviously at any stage we'll buy them off you for two and a half thousand pounds each but it makes sense that even if you let us try for a few weeks see how we get on you're going to get a thousand pounds more i will buy them off off you at any stage for two and a half thousand yeah. so let's have a little bit of a thing about yes it, yeah? of course and then uh, I'll, I'll go down the road of you trying to sell them for as much as yeah yeah of course right. the other thing uh, is i can send a, a postal pack as right. well so you don't need to have a drive bag up but you've got a few options something to think about yeah you're welcome to pop back all right then okay Did he sell it? nice to meet you much, yeah. thank you well it's that time of the week again time for deals deals of the week we have the rolex date just by metal with the chocolate diamond dial it's actually a 2020 there's a dial, it's a lovely dial. It does come with the option of the pink dial, but this one's the chocolate dial. The chocolate dial it does go for slightly more than the pink dial. It's on the Oyster bracelet. Product code 4026. This watch retails at 13,600. They are still very, very, very hard to find. On the website, it is up for 14,950. There you go, 14,950 on the website. We've also got two of the same, but different. OP41s. The first one we have is the OP41 with the silver dial with the gold hands and the gold around the loom there. So that's the silver dial. That's a 2022. We also have the black dial. Both 2022. The reference is 124300. There you go. There's the silver dial and there's the black dial. Well let us know which ones you like the best. I do like the silver dial. I just think with the gold it, it looks very classy. We'll start with the black dial. It is product code 4017. It's on our website at 7750. The silver dial is also on the website at 7750. Take your pick, mix and match. The black dial or the silver dial. RRP on these watches is 5400. Again, you can't go into Rolex and buy these watches. They are a Rolex that do go at a, a large premium. Again, like brand new with the white swing tags. I was going to say £7,000. I'm not. You can have the black or the silver dial for £6,650. That's a steal. The OPs for £6,650. Going back to the date just, a 126331. This watch is a 2020 with the new warranty card. It does have the new style warranty card. Again, on the website for 14,950. I was going to knock a thousand pound off it. I'm going to knock some more off for the YouTube. We're being very successful with the deal of the weeks. We sell the two. Was it was in the first two hours yeah, last week? Yep. We sell the two within the first two hours last week. So they are great deals. Don't skip the video and go straight to the deals though. So this one, 14,950. RRP is 13,600. You can have it from us today for 13,250. So you've got the choice of three this week. There's the three deal of the week. Weeks.